Hi, my name is Lisa McKemmy, and today I'm presenting a felt board story based on the book, Who Sank the Boat by Pamela Allen. The goal I'm working on is to develop phonological awareness by enjoying a felt board story. Specifically, the objective is for students to listen to and identify rhyming words in the story. And the only materials I'll be using is these felt board pieces on the felt board. Today we're going to learn about rhyming. Words rhyme when they end with the same sounds. For example, boat and goat are rhyming words. Boat and goat, they both end in oat. Note and float are also rhyming words. Let's listen to a story about animals and a boat and listen for rhymes while we see if they stay afloat. Beside the sea on Mr. Pepper's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. What do you think the animals might do? Well, they were good friends, and one warm, sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the cow who almost fell in? When she tilted the boat and made such a din, did you hear the rhyme there? In and din, they both end with the in sound. No, it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the donkey who balanced her weight, who yelled, I'll get in at the bow before it's too late. What words did you hear rhyming there? Wait and late. But no, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the pig? As fat as butter. Who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter. Did you hear another rhyme? Butter and flutter. But no, it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat so that she could knit? heard another rhyme. Did you? Sit and knit. But no, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the little mouse, the last to get in, who was lightest of all? Could it be him? What do you think happened next? weight in that boat. You do know who sank the boat. All right, while I get the animals out of the water, let's talk about what words we heard rhyming in this story. We heard in and din. We heard weight and late. Butter rhymes with flutter, and sit rhymes with knit. We'll put the mouse down here. So at this time, we could assess the children and group some words together and ask if they rhyme. For example, we could say, do late 
and wait rhyme? Do sit and in rhyme? No. Or we could put three words together and the children could figure out which one doesn't belong. Knit, din, and in. Which one doesn't rhyme? Knit. Or late, sit, and wait. Which one doesn't rhyme? Sit. And for more advanced students, they could generate rhymes and, and figure out what else rhymes with late. Maybe date, eight, eight. What else rhymes with sit? Hit, bit, kit.